looks like this is our deal. We'll be heading up to Lake Como and uh, then continuing to Blue Lakes. And then we'll break off the main trail and head up uh, Little Bear Peak and then across the Traverse to Blanca Peak. Anyway, we will see what the weather holds before we make any commitments. But here's hoping epic adventure is in store. Well, I've gotten up as far on the Jeep trail as I want to. I could go much further, but I don't feel like killing my truck. So I'm all packed up, ready to go. And it does look rough. Uh, impossibly steep, tons of loose rock. Um, not exactly right behind me, but the first mile was pure loose river rock, baby heads, grapefruits, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's getting a little bit better rock-wise, but uh, the grade has not relented one bit. Um, but that said, it's getting done. Okay, so just a little bit over two miles, about two and a half miles probably. And uh, yeah, the, the four-wheel drives are starting to give up now. Um, I guess you can see why. And that's, uh, that's pretty chunky. You can see. We've made a lot of progress. Hard one, I'll say. But now it's time to hammer some more uh, technical biking sections and get ourselves back up to uh, Tacoma Lake. See you up there. Holy smokes. Yeah. Right when you didn't think it could get any worse, it got worse. Oh. Yeah, this is a crazy steep switchback. But she's going, getting her done. The good news is, I don't think it could get any tougher. So there's that. That is insane. Insanely steep and rough, but the day is young and I got all day, so. I guess I got a man. <laughs> Kinda. In short, getting up this boulder-strewn road to the sky was a serious pita. I did utilize an e-bike, although that had its downfalls as well. The bike and gear weight combined was just over 70 pounds. I did make some modifications to try to improve the situation. I utilized three inch wide tires, front and back. The front tire was mounted onto a 29 inch rim in order to improve rollover on the giant boulders, whereas the rear tire was mounted onto a 27.5 inch rim in order to lower the tail end of the bike and improving my stability and security on the descent. I am no stranger to riding unpowered mountain bikes over 12,000 foot passes on a regular basis. But I must say, this road was extraordinarily rough and steep, pretty much for the entire six miles. Oh no, I feel pretty good about that. Yeah, it's got increasingly difficult. I didn't realize that was possible, but clearly it is. Um, so yeah, basically I'm going up a scree field at this point. Uh, if you can make out the road there. Uh, yeah, it's cool though. I actually am pretty stoked because I'm proud of, of how well it actually went. It was tough and I had to hike my bike quite a bit, but it, it went pretty sweet. So, uh, so I'm proud of that. Howdy. Well, yeah, it's been slow going for this last little bit. You gotta say. Pretty optimistic because I'm fairly close. But boy, has it been strenuous. It's 
It's been a lot of that. It can get come quick little surges on the bike, but definitely a lot of walking. I know I keep saying it can't get any worse. Um, but uh, this is like a giant wall of rock right here. I guess I can push my bike up it. Oh, more like carrying my bike over it, I guess. Nothing new there. <laughs> so, I'm good with stopping here. That's for sure. Wow. Well, I definitely dodged a bullet on that one. Um, the rain started kicking in just as I was finishing up, setting up my little shelter. Am I like an update on what's going on? It's raining. It's almost dinner time. But uh, I got some snacks in here. Uh, probably attract a bear. That'll be exciting. Anyway, we'll see you a little later. Yeah, I'm getting a little bored. But I got my big pepper and I'll probably do a mosquito hunt as soon as I'm done. Die, sucker. I think it's almost stopped raining. Boy, it made for a nice little resty poo. Dude, and he's so fat. Jesus, dude. You're eating right now. I highly recommend the pad thai. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen so many in one place like this. Guess it's about time to say nighty night. I just brushed my teeth, had a little snack. Now I am ready to hit the sack. It's just after 6 a.m. and I am headed up the Jeep road. So there they are, just hitting the top. Perfect timing for me. To minimize rock fall potential. Okay, just exited the Jeep road, heading up a talus field that was clearly Karen'd. Wow. Checking out the upper cirque here. And uh, looks like there's our objective for the morning. And uh, this is what it looks like 
heading up this uh, loose gully to gain the ridge for Little Bear. You can see all the banks of fog out there. Wow. Okay. So we're making pretty good time of it. It is quite loose, I have to say. I've had sections where a lot of rock is sliding together. It doesn't feel particularly dangerous or like it's gonna avalanche, but big sections of loosey loose. We are getting it done. Um, I'm gonna guess I'm at three quarters. Using this wall on the left has been a huge help. As far as having something to hang on to that's not gonna slide away. Um, and, and actually climbing it as well. Um, solid footing there. Otherwise, not so much. Oh yeah, she's a steepy. Here we are, just cresting up onto the ridge now. And uh, pretty spectacular. That's for sure. So, just for scale. That's where the truck is. All right, while well, this section of trail between the two uh, death gullies, the lower gully and the hourglass is very well marked, easy to follow. Definitely no more than class two. Um, the scene is pretty spectacular. Definitely have to say that. And as we pan over here, we got some big ridge and then uh, Amazing Cirque, and uh, maybe you can make out that Karen. So it's starting to get a little more interesting again. Just past a, uh, a big notch at the ridge proper, a low point in the ridge. Um, now we're kind of moving across the ledges, which uh, I rather enjoy. And we're gonna slink down here. looks like so I think the timing would be perfect they'll be leaving when I'm arriving well things are definitely getting a little spicier now I'm closing in on these climbers they're moving pretty slow there in the hourglass so that's a huge risk I'm not sure what I'm gonna do um, this is the trail that I came up Okay, met another party in the uh, hourglass. Party high above us, showered rock on us. Uh, nobody got hurt. Me and another guy did get hit. But we're gonna get out of here. Okay, maybe you can see the climb. The tiny climbers down there. I am pushing it to the summit now. And uh, it's really loose, but totally doable. Lots of good holds. And then here's the look over the other side. Okay, summit pano coming up. Off flight, it's still I think around 8.30 in the morning. I'm kind of cold.
We're just leaving the summit of Little Bear. Met a few new friends. And, uh, and now we are heading off this way. Whoa. Unbelievable. We just boogied down the down climb. Um, yeah, not bad. I mean, I guess at class four, but uh, I felt good. I felt totally good. And uh, it's pretty sweet. Pretty big sidewalk. So as long as you don't jump off, you'll probably be all right. <laughs> right here anyway. Here's some new adventure. Well, I think that was Captain Bivwacko. You're gonna be doing a pretty intense little ledge traverse relying on some handholds. Yeah, it's, it's pretty down over there. Some clouds are rolling in over there. They've been doing that all morning. Ooh, there's a cloud forming right there. Cool seeing the cloud roll in like that. A little more knife edge to go here. And so far, so good. I think other people were saying that was the spot you couldn't really get down, but you kind of have to take a Fifth class leap of faith right there. Usually skinny's up up here. Ooh. Some loose rock. Yeah, this is a spot to be careful. It's way down. I hate to be holding on to a loose rock all the way down there. All right, I'm moving out. Oh, here's exciting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is a nice big fat spot. Ooh, oh shit. This thing's big. This is Captain Bivwacko. Well, that's what we've got done so far. Well, this little spot looks exciting. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <clears throat> wow. Not very hard, but dude, talk about exposure. And a little loose. She goes both ways too. Oh, it's going good though. The jitters are gone. Climbing like a champ. I think I'm nearing the halfway point. Weather looks good. This is a route to be respected, but for me, I'm prepared. That's not a problem. Loose rock is the biggest danger. Or fear itself. But I'm pretty good on that. Oh, 
climbing's been fun. So, you can see the farthest lake is uh, where I'm camped, and uh, that's Como Lake. And then you can see the road just keeps going up until this higher lake. I think that's Blue Lake, and uh, another set of beautiful high alpine lakes that I'm not sure have names maybe all Como lakes hopefully you can see that that trail that is going to be my descent and that looks pretty friendly um, see me over there and, and there's me cranking up just a little more so yeah this has been great I'm glad I didn't let everything psych me out I was kind of nervous about it, to be honest, but uh, not anymore. This is just fine. Not sure which way to go here. Huh. Looks like I wouldn't have been the first one to do this. Pass on the right. I think I do remember something about that. Okay. Well, I think we'll check in when we get to the catwalks, which are those crazy deals. Ooh, and there's a cloud rolling in. So yeah, I'm gonna just haul some ass and uh, enjoy myself. Yeah, that uh, right-hand turn was the right move. And I think this has dropped me into the, uh, the low point, the saddle between the two summits. Oh, I feel extra confident because there's a nice little cairn right there. So this, I would have to think is the uh, the saddle, the slow point, more of a notch than a saddle. Wow. Now that's a gully. Ooh. Again, my descent route right over there. Whoa. This looks gnarly. I'll have to figure this out next. So I did bypass that last steep section on the right. And uh, there was some gnarly climbing there, I will say. It probably got close to fifth class. Um, and then, not only that, but it was loose. So really the loose was the thing. But it, it's pretty clear I'm on the right trail because there's Karen's. Oh, yeah. Really eased off after that last little technical section. And hopefully up here ahead, you can see that Karen kind of on that close horizon on the ridge there. So that's cool. We'll pop over right there. Awesome. More boy passing on the right. Um, probably for the best though, because that looks way class five. So I came over that widest ridge closest to us. Um, and uh, there's obvious Karens. Well, I uh, stayed a uh, just a little above that snow, the highest bit of snow down there. And then uh, turn back onto the ridge. It is decently marked. Um, wow, it's looking cool out here. So obviously now I'm basically back on the knife edge, bypassing that feature and uh, overlooking all the coolness. So that's pretty sweet. That's my descent trail again. That should be easy, rain or shine. And uh, I think I got a couple more bumps. Alrighty then.
it was good. This first worked out well. Hope you enjoyed the pano. Looks like a great ridge. Maybe I'll try that sometime. And uh, there's our little deal. The big daddy little bear traverse. See you on the other side. So we're slodging our way down this ridge. And it's pretty friendly. Apparently descending is pretty epic too. Um, not, uh, not really technical, but uh, why wow, was that down? That is way down. There's our ridge, and that descent is pretty close, I think. It's definitely been class two country, and uh, pretty pleasant. Nice trail, though kind of steep, but I just thought I'd show you guys that vista, because it's awesome. Wow, is that pretty. Oh, they're so cool. Sure beats walking. We are getting down the gnarly road. And uh, you can see my truck down there on the flats. Without a hitch, my rotors were sizzling hot to the touch, but I slowed down quite a bit. And it doesn't look like much from here, but boy, that was some sweet adventure. That's for sure.